Okay, so it's a patient who has uh, who is in the emergency department. He's on spine board. What you guys are seeing and uh, what is happening? He has a GCS of three. I don't know how many of you are working in trauma center. This was uh, classified as red trauma. That means severity of trauma is high. Next one, that is a pneumothorax. On the right side, not on the left. I think it is on the left side. It is due to obliquity of the spine board. Well-defined opacity, good. What do you think the well-defined opacity is in a patient of trauma? I intentionally avoid saying what is the modality of trauma so that you guys can find it. You have you have the evidence on this radiograph. Good, contusion. What might be the cause of it? Fat embolism can be. Lung laceration usually good. Gunshots, excellent. So this, I'm from US, we have a lot of guns here. So these are, these two are the, you know, uh, metallic bullets. And there is an opacity here. We don't know what it is, whether it is the track of the bullet or it is contusion or it is, in order to call it as laceration, you need to have the air fluid level. Or not air fluid, just a loosened lesion or an air fluid level. Here it is just an opacity, so we are just calling this as lacery, uh, pulmonary contusion for now. Let's open the CT. So, as we scroll down, what we saw on end on on the radiograph is that entire tract of the bullet which has entered the patient anteriorly and exited posteriorly and you can see the bullet is lodged down there and there is an additional bullet on the left side as well so the patient is having extensive subcutaneous emphysema pulmonary contusion hemorrhage and there are loosened le le loosened regions within the contusion which may imply laceration and also there is a pleural fluid here, which we need to call it as hemothorax in this setting of trauma. And there is contusion in the anterior lung as well. So this is a patient who underwent a bullet injury with a linear tract. Look at the contusions on the left lung, but we are not at all seeing it on the radiograph. So the radiographs are always underwhelming. That is the reason you need to do CAT scan in, in a patient of trauma because up to 30 to 40% of lung parenchyma can be missed on portable radiographs. In order to call it as laceration, you need to have a loosened region and laceration doesn't occur without contusion. Always remember that there has to be some kind of contusion to happen to call it as laceration. And there has to be like, you can see here, there is a loosened region noted here within the area of contusion. You can call that as laceration. And if you call it as uh, after a, few weeks, if you still see the loosened region, you call it as traumatic pneumatosis. And that is, uh, as you guys mentioned, that is trace pneumothorax on the bilateral region, right here as well. Okay. 